hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to show you that how to do top to down analysis with ict and smart money concepts so without wasting time let's get started welcome back to my youtube channel so this was like today's trade right and i can see it's a 1h time frame so why i'm doing my analysis on 1h time frame because <clears throat> if my analysis is on 1h time frame and if i'm able to execute my trade in smaller time frame i will give it like big rrs or big risk rewards in one minute time frame it's too much risky but the thing is if you can get it then you will be like getting like more than 10 r or something so here if you guys can see there's a gap normal gap right over here right and if i mark this fair value gap and there was this institutional level also and what's institutional level i have a video on that institutional level on my channel and i've explained it in like proper analysis and in proper detail so the in short words like the institutional levels are the levels which have like round off figures like this 1.24 times 0 and like this one so i can see like this so this fair value gap is stronger for now and if we go on one minute time frame and i will today i will show you in hindsight because i will be able to tell you all this properly look at over here as you guys can see over here what happened that it reached till this fair value gap <clears throat> it went above a little bit and at that moment what happens right over here okay we can see a market structure shift towards upside and then we can see that market structure shift to the downside okay and why this is so important like why this is a swing low this is a swing low because it took this fair value gap and then it went up and took this high and then it came back in and break this low right and then there was another fair value gap over here of one minute time frame this was a one tap fair value gap and why this is one tap fair value gap and i have taught all of this fair value gap also in one of my videos so you can check it out but the thing is one tap video means like it gave a break and at that right moment it gave a tap and then it shorts to the downside right so that's why it's a one tap gap but, but what happens after that so this fair value gap is still stronger okay still valid so if you you have to mark the fair value gap right over here and you have to you can take entry on the starting of this fair value gap and you can place your stop loss above this structural high and if your bias is bearish this swing should not be taken okay and if the swing is taken and if your stop loss is hit so it means that our all planning and everything was wrong right then you have to just wait for another confirmation with your bias and then you have to take the trade okay and then this was the gap which i have seen over here and then if you can see the another bank level right over here which is 1.19500 right if you go down it was like one ratio five or something like let's take one ratio six so in like in all london session it goes and hits at like somewhere around 750 so this is a type of trade which you guys can take okay and this is very important to understand that we have taken a bearish move on one inch we have to look for the bearish fair value gap right why we have taken the bearish fair value gap because if we go on daily time frame we can see that there was a big fair value gap over here and if you guys can mark this like the fair value gap and then what happens we can see a impulsion to the downside and what the next day happened it didn't took this day's low okay this candle took this day's low this candle didn't took this day's high so what does it mean that price is seeking for sell side liquidity so that's why my bias was bearish on this day today okay because today i was also expecting that price will not go and take the previous day's high it will go and take the previous day's low and this is what happens it went down and took the previous day's low so, so that's how i calculate my bias okay so this is what you have to look for there's a fair value gap okay i have seen this candle right over here and on next day i can see that price has close inside this candles range but the thing is that this candle took this candles low right not the high so what's below this candles low it's sell side liquidity so it is seeking for what sell side liquidity 
so on this day what i am expecting that on this day also it will be seeking for sell side liquidity because yesterday it was seeking for the sell side liquidity okay and this candle should not go and take this candles high if it goes and takes this candles high then my bias was totally wrong and then i can encounter some losses but the thing is it's effective every uh, every time and you have to look for the higher time frame confidence also if you go on weekly time frame right look into this this was a reversal candle why this is a reversal candle because this took the high of this candle and the low of this candle right and what happens like after that we can see a bearish candle okay which which body has closed outside from this candle's opening point right so that's why we are predicting that this week will be also bearish and it can go till like this week i can i don't think so like in this week it will be able to reach till this weekly gap but it can go till this gap and this is my target for like this month or like some <clears throat> for more seven days or for next week this is my target till the price reaches over here i will be bearish only okay so my weekly was also bearish daily was also bearish so that's why i will be seeking for the fair value gaps which will be responsible for the sell on one inch time frame and then i will go on one minute time frame and then i will execute my trade okay right over here so i hope you guys like this video so if you guys like this video drop a like share it with your friends and subscribe for more content like this and let me know in the comment section that what are your what are your questions that what are what are your doubts let me know and that on what topic i should make more videos so until next time wish you good luck and good trading